Do you ever feel like your small business is just floating through life, but not actually getting closer to the level of success you want? It's a common feeling, especially as a small business owner. You imagine all the bad habits you're going to break free from and all the good habits you will begin. But then you end up back where you started shortly after and no closer to your goals. So the question is, how do you break free from bad habits and make the habits you desire easier and automatic? How to Grow Your Small Business by Donald Miller has the answers. We're going to be doing a fast-paced, detailed summary of the book and diving deep into topics like clarifying your message, incorporating storytelling into your marketing, defining your brand identity, building a strong customer base, utilizing social media and content marketing, and setting goals and tracking your progress. Plus, we'll make sure you stick around until the end of the video where we'll go through step-by-step -step how you can personally use this book to improve your small business. I hope this summary inspires you to go out and grab a copy of the book for yourself, because this book deserves a space on every small business owner's bookshelf. Let's jump into it. Imagine a plane taking off and traveling from New York to Los Angeles. Just before takeoff, you adjust the plane's course just slightly by 3 degrees or around 80 inches. If you were to keep flying in a straight line, you would end up closer to Tijuana in Mexico instead of your intended destination of Los Angeles. And the same goes for your small business. Tiny changes in your habits can change the trajectory of your business in ways that you can't even notice until many years into the future. Looking back, you are your habits. The power of atomic habits. A slight change in your daily habits can guide your business to a very different destination. Far too often, we convince ourselves that massive success is only possible through massive action. In any goal we are pursuing, we expect ourselves to make some quantum leap or momentous improvement that will gain others' attention. However, it is the tiny improvements that aren't even noticeable at first that create incredible change. This is where how to grow your small business comes in. In the first step, Miller emphasizes the importance of having a clear and compelling message for your business. Many small businesses struggle to grow because they lack a clear message that resonates with their target audience. Miller suggests using the story brand framework to create a messaging guide that outlines the core elements of your brand's story, including the hero, the guide, the plan, the challenge, and the transformation. The second step is incorporating storytelling into your marketing efforts. Miller explains that people are more likely to remember and respond to stories than they are to facts and figures, and that by incorporating storytelling into your marketing, you can more effectively communicate the value of your product or service and create an emotional connection with your customers. The third step is defining your brand identity, including your brand's values and personality, and using design elements like logos and website design to reinforce your brand's message. The fourth step is building a strong customer base through excellent customer service and follow-up. The fifth step is utilizing social media and content marketing to reach and engage with potential customers. Miller recommends creating a content marketing plan that includes a mix of blog posts, videos, podcasts, and other types of content, and using social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn to share this content and interact with your audience. The final step is setting goals and tracking your progress. Miller recommends setting both short-term and long-term goals and using tools like the one-page business plan and the story brand canvas to help you plan and track your progress. By setting goals and tracking your progress, you can continue to grow your business and make sure you are on the right track to achieving your desired level of success. In summary, how to grow your small business is a valuable resource for small business owners and entrepreneurs looking to take their businesses to the next level. By clarifying your message, incorporating storytelling into your marketing, defining your brand identity, building a strong customer base, utilizing social media and content marketing, and setting goals and tracking your progress, you can create a solid foundation for business growth. I hope you enjoyed this summary of how to grow your small business by Donald Miller and that it inspires you to go out and grab a copy of the book for yourself. Remember, it's the tiny improvements that aren't even noticeable at first that create incredible change. By making small changes in your daily habits, you can guide your small business to a very different destination. Good luck in your journey. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.